What's up, gang? Mr. V from Mr. V's World, and thanks for tuning in one more time for a great show. Be sure to subscribe and make lots and lots of comments. Okay, today's show, as I'm reading my notes, is about hmm, five easy ways to get women to want you. Okay, guys, listen up. I'm going to break it down for you. Okay. One, show some mystery. Be vague, okay? Uh, women like intrigue. They don't want uh, someone who they can read right away. It doesn't give them anything to do. Okay, they want to pick you apart and try to find out where you belong in there, and which box you belong into, rather, for them. Because again, if you're not vague and you don't show any mystery, there's no intrigue. And if there's no intrigue, there's no interest and/or attraction. So uh, learn how to do that. Uh, I, I can give you an example, actually. If you're on a date and a woman asks you, so when was the last time you uh, had a girlfriend? You can say something to the effect of, well, it's been a while. That's it. You didn't give any examples as to how long a while is. And you, did you notice? When I answered the question, I stared right back at her and didn't say anything. That gets the balls rolling. It shows that you are calm, cool, and collected, and you're not so eager to show all of your cards, because believe me, women are masters at that. They are masters at being coy, so meet them head on, and you'll get the, the wheels turning. And to tell you the truth, to get a woman, if you want to get like with her st starts here in the head get in her head everything else will follow uh, number two smile a confident smile okay here's something that I I discovered when I was around 18 years old I didn't have very much experience prior to that in my early teens 16 17 I was a virgin uh, I had a lot of friends who were girls but I just wasn't really hip to the game like I am now I, my age and I learned when I started going out in the nightclubs and social settings and bars etc that there's a way to give a look uh, to somebody you're interested in from across the room without even smiling per se but you're smiling with your eyes okay it's not a trick it's just a thought that you have and it comes through your eyes I'm going to demonstrate it for you right now you're the woman let's just pretend you're the woman I'm the guy, obviously. We're in a bar. Now, I can't see myself, but the way I'm feeling inside is I'm interested, and I give you a particular look, and I feel it when I'm giving it to someone, and I believe they feel it too, because I usually, I would say, nine out of ten times get some sort of response. Also, smiling with confidence, it means that you really are interested in what you're seeing. Guys are, we are visual. You know that, I know that. We're visual. So if we see something we like, we've got to show interest. And women are highly perceptive. They're, they're highly tuned for this. Okay? And if you don't show interest, how are they supposed to know that you are interested in them? So, flash those pearly whites. And if you can, give them a smile with your eyes. That is, oof, that's money, baby. That's money. Uh, going on with my notes, uh, three, tease her, okay? Tease her, but tease her with your, um, with your charm, of course, but at your own expense, okay? You can say something like, you know what, you'd be really lucky to go out with a guy like me because pff, I date myself, but I'm already taken. I mean, it's you might say, well, that sounds stupid. Actually, it doesn't because it's saying, hey, I want you to go out with me. I'm playful about it. I'm not a creep or a weirdo. And at my own expense, I can make fun of myself, get you to laugh, and once you laugh, well, what happens physiologically when you laugh is the endorphins go through your body and you feel good. 
And the psychology of this is when that person feels good, it's because it's from you. It's at your expense. You made that person laugh. And by default, they felt good about it. And they'll remember, they'll associate you with the feeling good. Hmm. I don't know how I'll come up with this stuff. Uh, four, okay? Show leadership qualities and assertiveness, okay? Saying words like, <clears throat> I don't know, when asked a question from a girl. What are we going to do tonight? I don't know. Or the car broke down on the way home from your date, and she says, well, what are we going to do about this? Don't say, I don't know. Okay, a leader, a person who's assertive, always knows. Always. That is very appealing to, uh, to a girl, to a woman, to know that she's in good hands, no matter what the circumstances may bring. So, show some serious leadership qualities. If you're going to ask someone out, be, um, be on point. Know where you're going to take them. Make suggestions or affirmations saying, hey, we're going here tonight. I'm taking you there tonight. You know what? This is what's happening tonight. We're going to go and uh, experience, I don't know, whatever you're going to experience. You know, the, the new restaurant down the street, the new nightclub, or this, we're going to go check out this movie. The last thing, and I've said this many times, have confidence head to toe. Confidence in your ability, confidence in yourself, confidence in how you look. All of this completes a total pack, package, excuse me, and it lets a person know that, yeah, you know, you don't go out with me tonight, or if you don't want to get with me, somebody else will, because I have those qualities that I know a woman like yourself are looking for, and you can't ruffle my feathers. It's just not going to happen. I know who I am, and I'm good with that. It takes a little bit of practice, but everyone has uh, something about them that they can be proud of. So own up to those things. That's it for today, Mr. B's World. Thanks for tuning in. Sign up, subscribe, and comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go out there and make some magic. Peace.